So it started to rain here and you can see the smokers giving off uh, smoke and steam at the same time. It's hottest on this end. This is the firebox here. That's oak. That's oak right there. I don't want it to flame up, so I'm gonna shut the lid. But that's what's providing the smoke. Shut the lid on it, and the flame goes out. It's just kind of cool to look at. I got all the ribs racked up already, and uh, or not racked up, but. Uh, covered in foil they've been out here for about four hours and they're covered in foil now and that's gonna help finish the cooking process you actually don't want the you don't want the ribs to be falling off the bone tender it's better if you can cut the ribs individually into slices and then when you take a bite the judges always want want a bite mark to be made there so it's very tender but it's not soggy if that makes sense so anyway it's kind of cool she's really huffing puffing now <laughs> the steam hitting the metal this is the hottest end right here obviously next to the hot box I actually put the ribs in I won't lift up the lid um, but the I got one set down low here and then I got the others back over here so the ones that need finished the most are coming here. And by the way, these temperature knobs, they, they don't matter. What really matters is a digital thermometer and I've had that in there all day, so. They'll be out here for a couple hours and uh, finish them up, they'll be tasty. Cheers.